Hi there. So what I want to do today is to show you just how quick and easy it is to get your Twitter account protected with security keys. Now, if you haven't seen a security key before, you can have a look at mine. So these are two YubiKeys, which are made by Yubico. And as you can see, they look pretty similar to a regular thumb drive. And like a regular thumb drive, you can just plug them into the USB-C port on your computer. But unlike a regular thumb drive, you see these are the gold buttons in the middle. Well, when you want to log into an account that's protected with security keys, after you enter your username and password, you um, plug the key in, you hit that gold button, and then you're logged in. You don't have to worry about entering codes like you might if you're waiting for a text message or open up your authenticator app and enter a code. There's no codes, so just plug it in, push the button, and go. So we're going to see how we get these set up on our Twitter account, and then I'm going to log out of the Twitter account and log back in so you guys can get a look at how that process looks, or what that process looks like when you're logging in when you've got these uh, security keys set up. All right, so first things first then, we've got to go and find the two-factor authentication settings. So for this, uh, we first have to select more, settings and support, settings and privacy, security and account access, security, and then finally two-factor authentication. So you see there are three options here, text message, authentication app, and security key. As you probably know, um, text messages are only going to be available for Twitter Blue subscribers starting in March 2023, but that's okay because uh, text message two-factor authentication is honestly not that secure, and um, I hope to show you today that it's also not as quick or easy as using a security key either. Um, but if you, if you don't like security keys, authentication apps are also another good way to protect your account um, but they are vulnerable to phishing which the security keys are not as vulnerable to because they are phishing resistant all right so let's get this set up then so we're gonna uh, click in the box next to security key and uh, Twitter is gonna tell us uh, what to expect from the setup process it tells us that we're gonna have to sync our security key and then we're gonna have to give it a name and we give it a name because um, we really want to set up more than one. And so we want to, if we have to make changes later on, um, we want to know which security key we're uh, going to be changing the settings for. All right, so let's get started. Then uh, Twitter tells us that we need to uh, insert the key in the USB port. So let's do that now. All right, so we've done that. We add key and then we tap on the gold button. And then that's that part down and we just give it a name. So as this key is sort of got a tie dye coloring, I'm just going to call it tie dye key and then hit next. And Twitter is uh, warning us here that we uh, either want to add another security key or a backup method, a uh, second method of authentication, um, because if we lose this one key, then we're kind of locked out of our account. And that's OK. We're going to go through and we're going to add a second key right now. But before we do, <laughs> Twitter actually uh, tries to uh, make you think you're all set here, but actually if you just go through and click done here, you're missing something important. Because here is a single use backup code um, that you can use if you do end up losing uh, all of your security keys and so you don't have what you need to complete the, the second step in the login process once you have the security keys set up. Um, so write that down, print it out, store it somewhere safe, because if you do happen to lose those keys, then the only way you're going to get back in is with that code. Now this also is just a single use code, which means um, you can only use it once. So you use it, you log in, and then what you do is you go and you, you uh, turn off two-factor authentication, and then you set it up again. Um, that's what you do because otherwise if you log in and then you kind of uh, don't turn off two-factor authentication and set it up again then um, you're going to be stuck because you're going to have used your single use backup code and if you want to log in again after that you're not going to be able you're not going to have a way to do so okay all right so we're done there now we've added uh, one security key if you see here we've got this manage security keys button we can press and we see our tie-dye key here if we click on it we can see the date that it's added the name we can rename it and we can delete it um, if we uh, say if we lost it or something like that and there's also the option for us here to add another key which is exactly uh, what we're going to do now so we're just going to get started again. We're going to put the new key 
uh, in the USB-C port. We're going to say yes, add key. We are going to tap the gold button. And then we're going to give it a name. And because this is a blue looking key, I'm just going to call it blue key. And then it's telling us about this single use backup code again. This isn't a different uh, single use backup code. It's the same um, as the one that we had just before. Okay, and so now we have got both keys set up on our account. See, that was very quick, very simple. So what I'm gonna do now though, is I'm going to log out and log back in so you can just see what the login process is like. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna log back into 2FA test account and we're gonna enter our password as normal. And we get this come up again, and we're just gonna tap that go button. And there we are, we're in. Uh, that's two-factor uh, two authentication completed with uh, security keys enabled. So as you can see, there's no need to worry about um, waiting for a code via text, or we don't have to open our, our Authenticator app and then sort of squint at the code and then try and type it into the website and make sure we haven't made any typos. All we have to do is plug in our security key and then tap that gold button and everything is, is, is done. So I honestly think that the security keys are a really great way to protect your Twitter account. Not only are they the most secure method of two-factor authentication out there, but they are so easy to use as well. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.